Hey guys, this is Trevor Daly. Hey, I want to give you my first impression and uh, just show you five powerful new features in the new Lightroom 5. They just released it to beta today. Um, the official version of Lightroom won't come out until the summertime, but you can download the free beta version and use it until that official version comes out. And there are some really powerful new features, um, some things that I really, really enjoyed using. So I just want to give you a kind of a heads up and show you these. And I'm going to try to keep it nice and sweet and simple um, in less than five minutes, okay? So here we go. The first feature that I really, really love if I go in the develop module, right up along this toolbar, you'll see this one is kind of new. It's called the radio filter. Okay? Now, the radio filter acts very much like a vignette or kind of like the graduated filter did where we can kind of sculpt light and bring it where we want, but it makes it really easy. So let me click on this, and I'll show you how we do this. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to choose you know, what we want to do with this radio filter. So I'm going, to, I'm going to take the exposure down. And what I mean by that is when I click and drag this out, the area in the center stays the same, but you'll see, you notice kind of this vignette around it. Let me go ahead and click off this so we can see it. So here we can see this vignette. Now here's before and here's after. And you can see how our eyes are immediately drawn to the, 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 the little child and the dog before and after using that radio filter. Um, it's powerful, so powerful. Look, at here's a picture of my daughter and her cousins walking. Let me click on radio filter, same type of thing. I'm going to keep my exposure where it is. And I'm just going to drag that there. And again, you see how we're just drawing all our attention right to them walking down. So you can use this to really, you know, pull people out of photos. You can even use it in portraits. I, here's the portrait that I shot. This is untouched right out of the camera, but look at right here. When I add the radio filter, I can almost create this kind of like a, a beauty dish type vignette around her, um, you know, that you would normally get from something like that. But you see, I, and I can darken it down. I can change the temperature if I like. Um, you can do all kinds of things with this radio filter, very, very powerful little tool that they added into, into Lightroom 5. So check that out. I absolutely love it. Um, another tool that I really, really love um, is my, my, at least my first impression of it, is this uh, right up here, the spot removal tool. Well, before, if you had anything besides a circle, it was quite hard to get rid of it. But nowadays, or with the new Lightroom 5, what they've done is they've taken it, and you can actually click and drag and create kind of a line of what you'd like to get rid of, and then it will find something that matches that. So let me click off this so we can see how it did. And you can see now, I will tell you, there are certain things that it might not be perfect. You might still need to bring it into Photoshop and, and really do that fine, you know, comb editing or that really getting close to it. But I've noticed that this, this new spot removal is much, much more powerful than the old one. So for example, let me just zoom in here and I'll just do one more. Look, we got kind of a wrinkle right here, okay? I'm going to take the spot removal. I'm just going to build a shape just about the same size and highlight it here and you can see it's going to go grab on the cheek. Now I can pull it and I can say hey I want to grab from this area of the cheek for example or this area of the forehead but let's click off of it real quick and you can see kind of a before and after and you see how quickly that did it without having to take that photo into, into Photoshop. So if you have you know some really easy quick edits you want to take care of boom you can now do it in Lightroom with that spot removal tool very very powerful now another thing under the spot removal that I really like and another very powerful feature is this click right here it says visualize spots okay now let's pick a picture where we have some sky okay now guys please keep in mind that I am very um, picky when it comes to uh, making sure my camera is very clean I'm, I'm you know very meticulous when it comes to those kinds of things so I don't have a whole lot of dust at least I, I try not to in my photos but if I click visualize spots you can see it darkens everything down so I can now see if anything stands out as kind of like a white spot um, and this one I have nothing there but let's let's look at this one over here same type of thing visualize spots you see this little speck right over here okay actually what that is when I zoomed in on it was was a bird flying by so if I were you know, shooting a picture and I want to make sure that my, my skies don't have any spots in it or let's say I have dust, this visualized spots is very, very powerful to be able to see that immediately and take care of it. Okay? Absolutely awesome feature that I, I love in the new Lightroom 5 as well. Um, another thing that is new to Lightroom 5 is a tool called, let me scroll down here, it's under lens correction, it's called the upright tool. And the upright tool, what it does, it allows you to fix horizons, allows you to fix if there's any, you know, like you're, maybe you're shooting an architecture and there's some skew into it or tilt into it, and you want to fix that. So let's just grab, I, you know, again, I don't shoot a whole lot of architect, architecture, but I wanted to at least show you kind of an example of how it could work. So here's a photo of a wedding venue I was photographing um, the other week. It was at a wedding. And with this picture, you can kind of see it's tilted a little bit. And also, I see the house is kind of falling back a little bit. So when I click this upright tool, and I'm going to hit auto here and see how it does. I hit it, and boom, it fixes the you know, shape. 
And uh, in other words, the horizon line there. And it also, you can see the house just kind of, from instead of falling back, it kind of comes forward a little bit. So they're kind of before and after. So I have obviously fixed the white balance there as well. But you can kind of see how it falls back and then kind of comes forward. Falls back, kind of comes forward. So very, very powerful tool. And it, and it really um, does a good job, at least what I've noticed so far. All right. And then the last tool I just want to mention is something actually on the import. And when I import photos, there's this little feature called Smart Preview. So let me just come over here. Let me import. And we'll just click on this folder here. And then right up on the top here, it says Build Smart Previews. Now, if I check mark this, what it does, you guys, is it creates these smart previews that allow me to take those smart previews and I can now disconnect. Let's say if I'm editing on an external hard drive, I can disconnect that hard drive. Or let's say I'm taking my laptop with me on a trip and I want to be able to edit some of these photos on the plane. Maybe I want to fix my horizons. Maybe I want to sign some keywords. I want to do some work. When before it was just impossible to take all these big high resolution photos. Well, now that I have my smart previews built, I can take those smart previews with me, do all my edits, assign my keywords, change my metadata, whatever I want to do. And the next time I sync those photos with my computer, it's going to automatically apply those smart previews to the photos, the high resolution photos, or if next time I plug in my external hard drive, et cetera. So very, very powerful, again, uh, feature added to Lightroom 5. Now, I'm sure there'll be more things that come out or I'll discover over the next uh, few weeks and months, and I'll be sure to share those with you. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video showing these top five features. If you have, be sure to subscribe and check us out on fstoppers.com. We always give lots of information just as it comes out. So thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day.